Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 1, verses 43 to 51. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is the true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Newman. He was born in Bohemia in 1811 and had a calling to the priesthood from a young age. However, there was an overabundance of clerics in Europe during that time, and St. John Newman eventually found that the bishop in New York needed support, so he made his way there and was ordained at the age of 25. He did missionary work there until he joined the Redemptorist at the age of 29 to help the poor and marginalized. From there, he later founded the first Catholic school system that is still in place today. So through the intercession of St. John Newman, let us never lose the thirst for knowledge and education that we may grow in wisdom and faith in order to serve God and his people. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and saintly day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.